Welcome to building patterns. There are lots of ways to build visual patterns in tops. And one of the fastest ways is using the tile top. So let's go ahead, double click on our network editor and add a movie file in top. We are going to change the file to the Trillium flower. And next up, we're going to right click on our connector for our movie file in and add a tile top. Right away, we can see here our tile top is tiling our image. And if we navigate to the tile page, we're going to focus on these parameters here in the middle. Flip X, flip Y, reflect X, and reflect Y. We can flip the X or flip along the X axis, flip Y, which flips the image along the Y axis, and then reflect X and reflect Y. Right away, that creates a really nice, visually interesting image that is mirroring and reflecting. And you can mess around with some of these parameters a bit more. You can change the flip X or flip Y, depending on what you are trying to achieve. But this is a quick way to create a mirrored effect. Next, we can add another movie file in top. And let's look at how we can build even more complex patterns. So let's change our movie file in top to the Trilli the Simpty. We just used Trillium. We're going to use the Simpty TIFF instead. And what I want to do is I'm going to right click on my Simpty movie file in two, and I'm going to add a transform. We want to add a transform so that we can make some adjustments to our image before we tile it. We're going to rotate our transform by 25 degrees. So we're going to set our rotate to 25 over here, this parameter, and then we are going to scale down our transform. So I'm going to scale it down to 0.7. And then on my tile page, we right now we see that we have all this empty space, this transparency. And that's because the edges of our image are set to extend zero. So there is no extending actually happening. So we want to switch this to repeat instead. And now we can see that our image is being repeated and we have a really nice effect being created. We're going to go ahead and right click on our transform and we are going to select the tile top. Again, we see that nice quad view of our images, and I'm going to go ahead and toggle on flip X, flip Y, reflect X, reflect Y. And here we can see we have a really nice pattern being created. Next up, I'm going to right click on my tile and select a transform top. Here, we're going to navigate to our tile page first and make sure we send our set our extend parameter to mirror and move back to our transform page. And we are going to scale this back down like we did with our original example. As we scale it down, we can see that we have created a repeating pattern. We can scale all the way down, but I'm going to leave this at 0 0.2, 0 0.3. So now we see that we've created a really nice extended pattern using the tile top. The next thing that we can do is look at how we can use shapes to create repeating patterns. I'm going to add a circle top and I am going to control C control V and I'm going to change the, or that's command C command V. If you're on a Mac, I'm going to change the second circle here. I'm going to change its color so that we can see the difference between the two. And what I want to do is I want to create a repeating pattern with these two circles. So what we're going to do is we are going to add a layout top to our network editor. I'm going to find the layout top here and our layout top allows us to position multiple input tops into rows, columns, or grids. So if I click on my circle and drag it into my layout, and click on my second circle and drag the connector wire into the layout. We now see that we have our circle sitting side by side here. One of the key parameters we want to use is the scale resolution. By default, the layout top uses the 
resolution of the first input, so circle one, and places the, the two inputs inside of that resolution. What we want to do is we want to toggle on scale resolution. And what scale resolution does is that it multiplies the resolution depending on the number of rows and columns that are available to us. So here we are aligning our two circles left to right. And so we have this nice row with or we have two columns inside of this layout, so it's multiplying it by two or scaling the resolution by two. Next thing we wanna do here is we want to add a transform. And I'm adding a transform because I know that I wanna create a repeating pattern and I wanna be able to flip the position of these circles. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rotate by 180 and now we have inverted the placement of our two circles. And lastly, I'm going to add over here another layout top. I'm going to bring the connector wire for my first layout top and then the transform three into the input of my layout two. So now we have a nice, uh, we have all of our inputs inside of our layout, but we want to change our align order from align left to right to top to bottom. And we can see we're creating that nice pattern effect. Next up, we got to make sure we scale our resolution. And to wrap things up, let's add a transform top. We're going to make sure we on our tile page extend to repeat. And then back to our transform page, let's scale this down. And as we scale down, we see that we have created a really cool repeating pattern that you can adjust by changing the shapes of your circles, colors, you name it. And that is building patterns.